Hi guys, it's Kay at Tech Figure. Today I'm looking at how to speed up your Fire Stick and stop it from heating up. Now there's quite a few things you can do to speed up your Fire Stick. First thing I'd like to mention is that the Fire Stick is prone to overheating. Now as soon as it starts overheating, the most vulnerable part of the Fire Stick TV is the Wi-Fi chip, thus leading to the message network lost, meaning that we have to go back into settings and reconnect to our Wi-Fi signal, which is frustrating to say the least. So we need to find a way to decrease the amount of heat coming out of the Fire Stick. So my first recommendation is to have a look behind your TV and see if you've got a USB port. If you do, unplug your Fire Stick TV from the wall socket and plug it into this USB port. This saves your Fire Stick TV from being turned on all day, instead only being turned on when your TV is powered on, thus limiting the processing the Fire Stick TV does and therefore reducing heat buildup, making it cooler when you do want to use it. My next tip is to go into settings where we can do some tweaks to get your Amazon stick running smoother. Firstly, go over to applications and the app store and on automatic updates, I turn this off as I don't want the Fire Stick searching for updates in the background, using up valuable resources. The other option is notifications. I turn this off as it's just another process your Amazon Fire Stick needs to go through. Next, hide cloud apps. I normally turn this off as it will make it easier for me to look at my installed apps on the device. So now let's back out and go into manage installed application. So here we can manage the space on the Amazon Fire Stick. Here I would recommend you only have installed apps that you're actually using and delete all other apps to reduce clutter because apps like Mobdro, Terranium TV and Kodi tend to use up a lot of resources of the Amazon Fire Stick. So reducing the amount of apps running in the background will make these apps run a lot more smoothly. So now if we scroll back all the way back to the main settings page and go over to preferences and here we'll see that there's data monitoring and I click on data monitoring and we make sure that this is switched off as this is just another process that will run in the background. Having done this we go back to the preferences and next is notification settings. Click on this. So here we have do not interrupt and app notifications. And let's go into app notifications. Here we should really turn off all app notifications as they will just be processing in the background using up the valuable resources of the Fire Stick. Okay, if we go back again and in featured content, we have allow video autoplay and allow audio autoplay. With these two features, we want to switch them both off. Okay, now we click back to the main menu and that's it. You should now notice your Amazon Fire Stick running a lot more smoother and a lot more cooler. Thanks again guys for watching. Please do like and subscribe for more content from this channel.